I, I never really was a fan of cliffhangers. Hello everybody and welcome back again to another episode of Game Great. T today we are reviewing Shadow of Mordor. I, I don't, however you say it, I don't know. But I played this game and I, I love sandbox games so I love this game so much. It's just so fun and you get to do whatever you want. You can make your own army. It's just... Love it. But, uh, Shadow of Mordor, I, I didn't really see any downsides to it, actually. Besides the ending. Why did they have to make it a cliffhanger? Oh, yeah, money, I forgot. Yep, just money. There's no, there's no other reason. Yeah, but then I, yeah, but the story was a little short, in my opinion. I mean, they could have made it a lot longer. But the game's just beautifully graphic. It's... I don't even know what to say. It's just <gasps> amazing. Oh uh, yeah, and IGN, who I'm probably never gonna go to again after this Friday. Just 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 read one of their reviews on on a game. That'll probably come out later this week. <sighs> they rated it a nine point three. That's still better than infamous. Oh my I'm comparing everything to infamous. <laughs> But still, this is this is a I just just hit the side of my table. That's that's always great. But this game, yeah, I mean I can see why it's better. Than it. it has better graphics. It's just you have to play it to believe it. It's just my friend told me it was like uh, Force Unleash, Star Wars that game. Yeah, but uh, it's not. It's it's so much different and so better. So much better. Love it. Oh my gosh. Mm, I'm just it's just such a good game. Okay, wow. I mean two two minutes of two and ten Pardon my voice and no not voice speech. Yeah, speech, that's what it is. But yeah, this game's amazing, I love it. Still nine point three. I don't know why, because this game is really amazing. Cliffhangers and Yep, cliffhangers. But I love like all the army gen no like generals, war chiefs. I guess what's that's what they're called, chiefs. How you can brand them, control them, make them attack other war chiefs. Uh, it's just so much fun. And you could honestly tell there has been so so much work going into this game. Because, yeah, the story may have been short, but if you look at everything, you're just like, Oh, wow, this is really amazing. <sighs> but still. They made, two they made two places for you to, like, go and screw around, ride categories and growls, if that's, if that's how you pronounce it. But I don't know. <gasps> just make your army conquer Mordor and the other... Yeah, it's just Mordor. Oh my god, it's just so fun. I, uh, oh yeah, you can also get... You can also just freaking teleport to kill and kill people. Like It's, it's such a fun game. They made, they made it over the top. So, huh, what, what should I give it? I hate... I hate cliffhangers. As you can tell by the intro. But... Hmm... Let's. I will give it like a f nine point five. I only said five point five. I, was, I, I just be like, what? No, no, nine point five. It's um, it's a really great game, but you know, there's some problems here and there. I mean, I've seen a few glitches that aren't too big or too serious. But yeah, nine point five. I also hate cliffhangers, so. I don't know. I don't even know why I'm still recording right now. Okay. I uh, will see you in uh, next time on Game Grid. I, I don't have a voice modif modification. Sorry. Uh, goodbye.